Hello, in this video we're going to show you the new registration built into .NET Nuke version 6.2. Now we're using a pre-release build of .NET Nuke Professional Edition, but the features we're going to show you apply to the community, the professional, and the enterprise editions of .NET Nuke 6.2. So here we have a 6.2 website. We're currently on the Getting Started page, but we can do this from any of the pages on the website. If we go ahead and click on the Register button in the, located in the top right corner of this particular skin, we get taken to the registration form. So I'm going to go ahead and register a new account here, and we'll provide some of the basic information for that account. And I'm going to use a fake or a temporary email address here during this registration process. Now within the registration system, you'll see a note here at the top that tells people that when they're registering, they're essentially granted immediate access to the website. This particular site in the out-of-the-box configuration of .NET Nuke has public registration turned on, which means whenever someone creates an account, they can immediately log in. Now, there are other types of registration that can be enabled. We talk about those in other videos within the .NET Nuke video library. So I'll go ahead and put my information in here, and then go ahead and click on the Register button. This will create a new account for me, and it immediately logs me into that particular account. Now from here, we can go ahead in the top right corner and click on our display name or our username up there. That'll take us to our kind of public facing profile page. From here, we can click on edit profile on the left side of the page. And this will allow us to come in and start to configure some of the profile fields within our user. So we can come in and type in things like first name, last name. We could choose where we live, put in our location information. And before choosing a region, if we go ahead and choose the United States, then the region or state list will be populated. Now, when we're updating profile information within .NET Nuke 6.2, over on the right side, we have these little lock icons. What we can actually do here is restrict visibility on these various fields. So I can choose who can see the city that I'm from. Maybe I want to make this publicly accessible, meaning anyone who can view my profile, doesn't matter if they're logged in or not. I might want to choose to make it members only, meaning only people who are logged into the website can see my state or my city information. We also have admin only and then friends and groups. And we can do this on a field by field basis here within the profile. Now towards the bottom of the screen we have a place for a biography where we could type in some information. We could choose our time zone, choose our preferred locale. And then finally, we have a field here for uploading a photo. Now, I don't currently have any photos or files uploaded for this particular user. The user was just created. So we can go ahead and choose the upload file option. When we choose that. We get the option here to choose a file. We can simply choose a file from our local computer. And I'm going to choose a file here. Click on Save. That will actually upload the file to the .NET Nuke file system. That file gets stored into our unique or our user folder for files. And it's now available in that drop down list. Now, with the profile, we can also, or the photo, we can also choose the visibility for that. We'll make the photo publicly visible. We can go ahead and click on Update, and that will update our profile information. Now, from there, we can manage or navigate back to our profile and see our photo being displayed. Over on the right side we can see more detailed profile information. If we had populated a bio, it would show up here. We have location, and then we have some other information for ways to get in touch, which we did not actually populate. So that's an introduction to the new registration system within .NET Nuke 6.2, as well as updating your profile as a regular user on a .NET Nuke 6.2 website. Now, in future videos within the .NET Nuke video library, we'll show you how this new user can join a social group, which we created in a previous video under that community tab. So check out those videos in the video library.